Hi everyone, Scott Weaver with Air Gunner Reviews, back again with the AEA Defender. And the best way to check your air cylinders to make sure when you leave your house that this is fully charged and ready to go. And it is quite simple. And the other thing I want to talk about a little bit is this little O-ring, whether you need to put a rubber ring inside the air cylinder, whether that helps or not. So let's get right to it. So the easiest way I have found, I know that I've gotten a lot of comments on it. Uh, one being that you should always have the O-ring in. I'll discuss that in a second. Um, but the best way to actually check this, and I'll tell you why, is by this little cylinder in here that opens up. This guy right here, that little valve, I should say. You see that where it's shiny right there? So if you can push on this, and this is how I test it. I go like this, and I push on it. And I give it a good firm push. If I can push that in, then your cylinder is empty or close to being empty. And I'll show you one. Um, okay, here's one that is completely empty. And I want you to see, that, I don't know if you can notice it, but that is definitely going in and out. So these are spring-loaded. Now, the way these work, I'll just describe it really quickly. Um, of course, you are filling up your air cylinder like this, and you're putting your air in it. So what happens when, that, when you're doing that? Okay, so let me get the empty one back here. What is happening is this valve is opening. You've got this in here. The valve is opening. And it is filling this all the way up. Of course, you got your disc burst on here. And so, okay, so this is like this here. And by the way, what I usually do with this is I put a little bit of uh, silicone, just a little spot of silicone, rub it around on my finger. Then I tighten this up. And I to use two slip joint wrenches. And I just give this just a little tweak. I hand tighten it and then just a little tweak with it. Now, if this even has a little bit of um, pressure to it, you are not going to be able to pull that off. And that's why it is better to check it this way for the spring. So in saying that, um, once you've filled this up, and what's happening is the air is shooting in here and it is opening up this valve when it's filled up now the air in here is compressing this valve closed and that's what is sealing here and of course it's sealed here when you go and you shoot your gun your pistol this right here is your firing pin um, usually sits inside here and so when you're shooting it bam this part is what's striking it, and if you can see that, that little point comes out, and it is striking right onto the burst disc. Now, the burst disc um, breaks the seal. It causes the air to shoot out towards the, um, your firing pin briefly enough to cause like a vacuum, and your valve opens up, and because air um, shoots out of the least uh, resistant um, place it shoots towards your barrel because your barrel is in here and your projectile is shooting so let's get to the point of this little thing that everybody says you should put in here and that's going to seal it right well it's I'm not saying it's a bad idea to do it but I'm not going to say it's going to help and I'll show you why. So here is uh, my barrel. And if you notice, that that is only going to go, or that little rubber ring is only basically going around the diameter of the um, barrel. If you're using something like this, um, uh, you know, and, and you're putting it in here, that is not a seal. Okay, now remember... The valve is right here in the center. That's your valve. If there's air escaping, this is not helping it. The air's still going to come through here because there's no seal here. There, there's just absolutely no seal here. 
Now maybe with a, um, the little bigger um, pellet going in here, uh, you might be creating a little bit better of a seal, but again, I wouldn't trust that um, as sealing um, anything. Um, so I'm not saying it's a bad idea to throw this in here, but also I uh, want you to take notice of one other thing when you put this in. And uh, let me get that out of there for a second. And you're closing your barrel up. It is not, you've got a little gap right there. Okay, so um, again, you've got the threads and you've got a um, the valve right in the center and you've got part of your threads still exposed a little bit. There's that little bit of a gap. So all in all, I do not believe that this little ring is doing anything for you. And I haven't heard anything from the manufacturer saying to add one. I'm not saying it's a bad idea to, I'm just saying that um, I wouldn't trust that personally. I would definitely use like a punch and I would push on this, give it a good, you know, healthy uh, push. And if you're not getting any flex on that, then you are probably all right. Um, and again, an empty one, you are going to get a lot of spring, a lot of spring. Anyhow, uh, that's it for today. I just thought I would share that for you. Um, and I'm also going to say one other thing is that I found if these don't leak within three to five days, um, then it probably isn't going to leak. Usually that leak occurs fairly quickly because um, I check these once a week. And, and if it happens, now, mind you, I probably have about 15 of these. So out of 15 of them, every once in a while, you're going to find one that may have a, um, a leak to it. And then the next time you fill it up, it may not have a leak to it. I'm, I can't tell you why. Best practice, take this little guy, push it in. If it doesn't push, you know you're still filled up. It's never failed me before. Check it once a week. You're good to go. Hey, thanks for watching. Take care. I'll catch you next time.